Hi, thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Andrea McEachern. I'm the national president of the Canadian Land Reclamation Association. Uh, big thanks to Agate uh, on this Agate Tech Talks 2021. Um, thanks to all of you for coming to participate. Uh, they've given us an opportunity to tell people across Canada what we're all about, uh, anyone international as well too. We are um, an organization, a nonprofit organization, that was incorporated in 1975. Uh, we have a national working board of volunteers across Canada. Our national board is comprised of CLRA chapter presidents, and we'll get into that a little bit further, and as well other members from various boards. Mainly our mission is to foster the planning science management and promotion of land and waterway reclamation and remediation by facilitating information exchange among land reclamation practitioners uh, within government, industry, academia, and the public. So a few things that we do provide uh, for our members uh, is conferences across the country, very similar to what Agate is doing now. We are doing a lot of webinars. Uh, we offer quarterly newsletters and semi-annual official publications to our members. Uh, through these avenues, it allows the organization to have an informal instructional role in the decision-making processes of reclamation, uh, rehabilitation projects, and to act as a forum for dissemination of ideas and important and pertinent, uh, that are important and pertinent to reclamation activities. So some of the things we have, short courses, uh, webinars, for example, on wetlands, uh, new technologies within reclamation remediation, uh, e ecological restoration. Um, one of the workshops that's going on very recently is the workable soils preparation uh, that is being put on through the Alberta chapter. Um, as you can see on the screen there, the Re Canadian Reclamation Magazine, it's widely distributed in Canada and internationally and is sent to all of our CLRA members. You can get it electronically if you don't want a paper copy, but paper copies are available. The magazine, it provides our members and non-members alike with an excellent opportunity to publish articles on reclamation. It also provides the opportunity for advertisers to reach an audience who uh, their focus is on reclamation. Um, we've had some great projects on there and uh, highly recommended to, to be able to get a copy for that. And then of course, uh, the last item there is the national and chapter awards. I'm not going to go in the chapter awards. I'm hoping as uh, we go across Canada with our chapters that they'll talk about their own particular awards, but I am gonna go on the national awards. Um, one thing is that there's so many reclamationists or uh, people in remediation in this industry that really are deserving to have recognition for what they do. So I'm just going to go through these uh, different awards that we give out. Um, the last time we gave out the Dr. Edward Watkin Award was in 2019. Uh, it is one of the three prestigious awards, and it was named after a founding member of the Canadian Land Reclamation Association. Uh, this award is presented in recognition of major contributions of the nominee to land reclamation, especially through service to foster advances in regulation, reclamation success, or development of personal or, uh, personnel or students. So the efforts for which the individual is nominated do not need to span a major portion of the recipient's career and may be project focused. Uh, the recipient may have made major contributions to the CLRA, uh, which has led to the advancement of the association. The recipient may be an individual, an agency, institution, or a company. So that's the Dr. Edward M. Watkin Award. The next national award we have, it used to be the Noranda Land Reclamation Award. You can see this is our secretary, uh, National Secretary Michelle Coleman. She was the last recipient to receive this in 2018. Since then, we've had an anonymous funder that has decided to uh, sponsor us with these Intech Reclamation Awards. So it's no longer called the Noranda Land Reclamation Award because Noranda doesn't exist anymore. It's now the InTech Reclamation Awards. 
And uh, the, there are two of the three prestigious awards of the CLRA. This award celebrates innovative techniques that advance the practice of reclamation in Canada within any industry uh, or sector of industry, such as mining, forestry, oil and gas. I mean, there's various other ones I could go on. Uh, the award is presented in recognition of outstanding contributions of the nominee in the areas of professional practice, teaching, research and or regulatory development as they relate to innovation within the profession of land reclamation in Canada. So nominees should be widely recognized for their contributions in the field of land reclamation, as I have already said. And this award is presented to either an individual person or a group or organization. So hence why there's two. You can have an individual do it or a group or an association. The next award, and there's only these two uh, coming up, are left. We have the Linda Jones Memorial Award. Uh, this last award was presented in 2019. It's a student award, and it honors Linda Jones for her significant service to the CLRA as the secretary treasurer for over 20 years. Um, she was one of the initial people that worked with the CLRA, and we miss her dearly, and she loved students. She would do anything for students. So we wanted to make sure that in honor of her, we had a student award. And so there are two awards that are presented annually to students in a reclamation related program at a Canadian institution in recognition of excellence in academic studies which advance in the theory, knowledge or practice of land reclamation. So one award is a poster presentation and the other one is an oral presentation and each award gets $1,000 as well as a one-year membership in the CLRA. So now that we're on the topic of students, I just want to let students know that are listening or parents or friends that have students that are in an environmental science program, the CLRA is giving free membership, a complimentary membership for 2021. All you have to do is to just go onto our website, go over to where we have it uh, for um, membership, and there's a form there for students. Uh, you submit it online, and then after that, you will be contacted by our office, which is located out of Edmonton, and verify that you actually are a student, and you can enjoy the benefits of being on a national organization, as well as the chapters. If you live in Alberta, you can belong to the Alberta chapter, or if you have interest in working in Saskatchewan, then possibly, possibly you know, add on your, uh, Saskatchewan as something you want to hear about, or even over in the Atlantic. It's a great way to be able to network, learn about the career that you're moving into, and, and finding a pathway for yourself. The last national award we just gave out last year, it's a, new, the, a very new award for us. It's the Jack Winch Early Career Award. This honors Jack Winch. Uh, he was principal founder and inaugural president of the CLRA. And it acknowledges the efforts of early career reclamation professionals. So any individual can be recognized for this and it's for outstanding contribution to reclamation and re in research and practice. And it has to be, that person has to be within their first 10 to 12 years as a practitioner where you can nominate them. So now we're about to take you across the nation, as the topic says, and we're going to go into uh, some video clips made by these chap by the chapters. Uh, we're going to start off, of course, with Alberta, and uh, we'll take it away from there. Good morning. My name is Kelly Zadko, and I'm the current president of the Alberta chapter of the Canadian Land Reclamation Association. Today, I'm going to share a little bit about our chapter by showing you a quick video and then a PowerPoint presentation. So without further ado, I will share with you my screen and our corporate CLRA video.
I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm just going to share with you our PowerPoint presentation. The Alberta chapter of the Canadian Land Reclamation Association is the largest chapter across Canada. Our board currently consists of myself, Kelly Zadko as a president, Christine Johnson with Trace Associates as our vice president, Darren Heck with Standtech Consulting as our treasurer, Ashley Easton with Tannis Conservation Services as our secretary, Chad Hall from Parkland Geo as one of our directors, Cheryl Hendrickson from Lansaga Biogeographical as a director, Troy Gooch from TC Energy Corporation as a director, and Amber Flamin from Earthmaster Environmental Strategies as a director. For the past year, we've been working as a board to transition from an operations board to a strategic board. For the next two years, we will be working further on this. And as part of that, we've developed several operational subcommittees to help us with our operations, including a webinar subcommittee that organizes and hosts monthly virtual webinars for our members on a variety of topics, our sponsorship subcommittee that provides support to our webinar group, golf and program subcommittee to arrange for advertising, corporate sponsorships and member engagement, our student relations subcommittee that establishes and maintains relationships with post-secondary institutions, and provide student mentorship program annually, as well as administers our student awards and scholarships. We also have a program subcommittee that organizes and hosts our annual AGM and conference. This year, our conference was virtual and included two half days with over 39 technical presentations. We also had the Honorable Minister Jason Nixon from Environment and Parks attend, as well as a keynote speaker, Mr. Dr. Mike Wall, um, who spoke on health and safety in the workplace. We also have a golf tournament subcommittee that organizes and arranges a charity golf tournament annually, where all the proceeds go to Western Sky Land Trust. Over the past few years, we have raised over $64,000 and donated it to Western Sky. So why join the CLRA Alberta chapter? You'll have accessing, access to networking in the environmental and reclamation field through our annual conference and AGM, professional development opportunities, access to our webinars and to our events, volunteer opportunities, as well as collaboration opportunities. Thank you again for listening to our quick short presentation about the Alberta chapter of the CLRA. Hopefully we'll see you, some of you at our next event. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out at info at CLRA.ca. Thank you. Just as an addition to the Alberta chapter, I want to let you know they just posted there are some spots available to be on the Alberta chapter board. Just go to our website. Um, you can either find it directly underneath the Alberta chapter or it, uh, you, if you are a member right now, you would have gotten notification. We're always looking for new ideas and help on our board. And as I said, all the boards of the CLRA are working boards. For those that might not know what that is, it means we're basically volunteers. Nobody gets paid on the board. We do this because we believe in what reclamation is and we want to be able to get the message out to other people. So next across the nation, we're going to head to our next chapter and that is Saskatchewan.
Now, Saskatchewan just joined us in 2019. We're absolutely thrilled. They were kind of married to Alberta. Um, we had some really great people that decided to start up a board, and uh, they've been running since 2019, uh, doing exceptionally well. If you live in Saskatchewan, want to be a part of it, highly recommend you go to our website again and uh, go to the Saskatchewan chapter. All of the board is there. You can click on it, or you can just send uh, your interest to info at clra.ca. Next, we're going to go to Ontario. Hello, I'm Adam Chiquetto, President of the Ontario Chapter of the CLRA. I hope everyone is healthy and well. Our chapter represents two distinct industries within our province, mining and aggregate production. In the north, we are focused on reclamation and regreening of brownfield mine sites, while in the south, reclamation is focused on aggregate sites. Reclamation in Ontario involves academia, government, and industry working closely together to advance reclamation efforts and practices. The main activity of the Ontario chapter is the annual Mine Reclamation Symposium and Field Trip, which we co-host with the Ontario Mining Association and Ministry of Energy, Northern Development and Mines. This annual symposium is held in different mining communities within the province and allows delegates to present reclamation research and projects. The field trip showcases mining history and reclamation practices or sites in the host community. The symposium also provides a venue for networking with colleagues in the reclamation field, including academia, government and industry representatives, and is utilized by government and academia as a training opportunity for their members. The Ontario chapter also presents three awards annually. The Tom Peters Memorial Mine Reclamation Award, which is a student bursary and is awarded for excellence in mining reclamation research in Ontario, and is a $5,000 bursary that is kindly donated by Valley of Canada Limited. The Tom Peters Memorial Mine Reclamation Award trophy is presented to an industry member recognizing outstanding achievement in the practice of mine reclamation in the province. And our newest award is the Dr. Jack Winch Memorial Scholarship which provides $3,000 to a post-secondary student in recognition of outstanding contribution to reclamation research and practice, including landowner engagement. So that's the Ontario chapter in a nutshell. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you about our organization. And if you're interested in joining the Ontario chapter, please check us out on the CLRA website. Have a great day. And as far across Canada, from the West End all the way to the East End, here we are in the Atlantic chapter. Um, interesting, here I am at the Agate Tech Talks, and the president of the Atlantic chapter works for Agate Laboratories. Welcome to Atlantic Canada. The Atlantic chapter of the CLRA has members from Newfoundland, PEI, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick, hailing from industry, government, and academia. We value our student members and promote lifelong learning through our website, newsletter, workshops, and conferences. We use our annual chapter events to share information for professional development and the development of the reclamation industry here in our region and beyond. We use our various activities to showcase student industry and government projects through presentations and field trips to various locations that highlight the unique challenges here in Atlantic Canada. Some of the major projects in our region include shoreline protection, estuary and bog restoration, mine reclamation, and contaminated site cleanup from industry, rail, shipping, and more. Our chapter events include ARC, the Atlantic Reclamation Conference, held biannually and rotated around the Maritimes to maximize the variety of projects and educational opportunities for our members. On alternate years, we organize a workshop or field trips. We have been to sites from Fredericton to Northern New Brunswick and Sydney to Digby, Nova Scotia and many towns and cities in between. 2020 was a conference year in our schedule, so we hosted the first ever ARC online webinar series where industry professionals shared information about analytical tools, techniques and reclamation projects with our chapter members. We look forward to growing our capabilities to host more dynamic digital events that will reach even more of our membership with this great content and to host more in-person events in the future, and to continue growing together in our knowledge of the reclamation industry here in the Atlantic region and across Canada. Thank you. 
So as you can see, we're missing a few provinces. We are looking at building chapters in British Columbia, uh, anywhere in the Northwest Territories and in Manitoba. We do have a very uh, hardworking representative in Manitoba right now, and he's looking for people to fill the board and start the CLRA going there. Hello, greetings from Winnipeg. My name is Ian Young. I am the president of the Manitoba chapter of the Canadian Land Reclamation Association. Our chapter is relatively new with a modest membership, but we're looking to build on that membership and become more active within the province. Manitoba has a lot to offer from a reclamation standpoint, including active mining, oil and gas, as well as agriculture and land development sectors. Our current membership includes reclamation professionals from academia, consulting, as well as regulatory branches. If you or someone you know may be interested in joining and becoming active with the Manitoba chapter, of the Canadian Land Reclamation Association, please contact us through our website. Thank you. Um, if you have any interest in any of our chapters, but more so in particular, looking at trying to build up a chapter and get things exciting in the reclamation world in British Columbia, anywhere in, the, in one of the Northwest Territories, as well as in Manitoba, um, again, please contact us at uh, info at uh, You can go to the National uh, Board of Directors, you can click on my link and contact me directly as well. I'm always available uh, to bring on some new people. So here it is, this is where you can contact us. We have uh, CLRA.ca is our website. Of course, info at CLRA.ca is the general box that you can send it to and uh, our office will disseminate it to who needs to get, it, uh, get that email. Um, as well, we're on LinkedIn and all you have to do is put in CLRA and you'll be able to find us there or Canadian Land Reclamation Association. We're on Twitter and there's the address there as well as we're on Facebook. And again, if you put in CLRA or Canadian Land Reclamation Association, you'll be able to reach us there and follow along with us and all the news that we present. Once again, I just want to thank Agate for uh, the opportunity to let you all know about the CLRA if you have not heard about it. Um, we welcome new members, we're welcoming new people on the board. Uh, any ideas that you have are always welcome. And I uh, just want to thank you all for participating and thanks again to Agate. And I'll take any questions right now. Thank you.